What's going on guys? I've got here a 2009 Nissan Rogue and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the horn relay as well as the, hu the fuse for the horn. I'm also gonna give you some troubleshooting steps for um, how to figure out why your horn is not working. So in order to get to the fuse box where we can find the horn fuse and the horn relay, we've got to remove this air duct. Looking at the front of it, there should be a total of three clips to remove. Your Nissan may be missing a few of those clips just like this one is. Uh, mine just has one. So I'm gonna show you how to remove this. You simply pry in on the center piece of that clip and it will come up, at which point you can reach in grab it and pull the entire clip out. At this point, it's held into the air box here. You should be able to grab this duct and just kind of yank it up and out. And keep in mind, there's also another attachment point here where it goes into this air duct. Now we can remove the uh, fuse cover right here. It helps to have a prying tool. So on the left-hand side, We've got to pry these tabs outward. So there's just two of them here. And there's also a tab here. This one you push inward and lift up on the box. So now we've got the fuse box cover free. We're gonna remove that, set it aside. Now the fuse for the horn is this 10 amp fuse right here. And it provides power to the horn relay, which is this relay here. Now, my favorite way to troubleshoot this relay is I'll have an assistant inside the car holding the horn down. And while they're holding that horn, I'll come in here and I'll tap on this relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck and by tapping the relay or even wiggling it around, you can sometimes get them to start working again. So if you tap on your relay and the horn starts to work again, well, then you know that your horn relay may need to be replaced. Now, we can easily remove this fuse to inspect it. I'll go ahead and pull it out so you can see what a good fuse looks like. So we can see here this fuse is looking pretty good. It is clean and unbroken. So this fuse is working just fine. Now removing the relay is a little more challenging. You'll need a very slender uh, flathead screwdriver or maybe even a regular screwdriver. And there's a tab on the front of this relay that you've got to push in. So this relay is actually locked into position. So we push in on that and then we can lift the relay up and out. It's a little difficult for me to do one-handed. Let me pause this real quick. So we're gonna free the relay by pushing in on the retaining tab and lifting upward. And once that relay is free, it can be helpful to grab the top of it with some pliers and wiggle it from side to side while you pull up. If your relay has never been removed before, it can be quite a challenge to get it out. There we go. So this is an unusual three pin relay and I'll identify each pin and tell you what it does. So the 10 amp fuse that provides power that power comes out on this pin right here, the one that I've painted in red. When you actually hit the horn switch on the steering wheel, a ground signal is supposed to come through on this pin that I've painted green. The ground coming in will work with the relay and that the relay when activated will take the power from here and send it into this white pin. The white pin goes to the horns. So you yourself can actually test the horns by providing your own source of power to the uh, horn by shorting out the red pin and the white pin. You can do this with pliers or paper clip of some sort, but you basically touch those two pins together and that should result in the horn going off. You can also provide your own source of power into the white pin directly. So that's uh, some troubleshooting steps there for you. Now. If you do short the red and the white pin together and the horn does not go off, it could be that the horn itself is failing or that you have an issue with the wiring. If you want to access the horns directly for some more troubleshooting, they're here in front of the engine. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you or at the very least a good starting point in troubleshooting the horn on the Nissan Rogue. Please do let me know down below if you have any questions or advice. 
and thanks for watching.